I got cool goshish kunin gosh kunin they're playing that that song the very famous and then I'm in a friend and I'm thinking When are you guys gonna get fences? They're not gonna because by putting fences, everyone's gonna hang on them and they're gonna fall to their death. That's how it happens on the other side. <laughs> oh, really? They lose everyone every year. They lose people. And over here, we have no fences. We haven't lost anyone. But I gotta have you up there because I will get in trouble. I'm on camera. Okay. I, I will lose my job. Well, your alarm going off. You're gonna you're gonna hear people come running down. Get her back for her feet. And then after that point, then you're kicked. Has out anyone tried to like do suicide here? No, Just but like, we've had people ooh. doing like. Handstands. Oh, can I do a handstand? <laughs> like right there? Yeah. <laughs> no? That means. No. Uh, as I said before, there's 34 provinces each week. So like one province, the first one being Balkh. I searched up and there's so many interesting stories. Uh, Balkh, from uh, the information that I gathered so far, um, it's actually strategically the northern of Afghanistan. It's actually right about this part of Afghanistan. Seventh oldest mosque that's been recorded is in Bach. I think it's called the Blue Mosque or the Nine Dome Mosque. Don't quote me on that. But It is the birthplace of uh, Jalaluddin Rumi, which is my favorite uh, fact because I am absolutely obsessed with um, Rumi. Jalaluddin Balkhi was an Afghan poet who is regarded highly by the entire world as one of the greatest poets to ever walk on the face of this earth. So uh, the fact that he's from Balkh really, you know, entice this whole process for His me. His works describe not only mysticism and reflections which enchanted many of its readers, Jalaluddin Balkhi also concentrated on religion and emphasized heavily on the virtues of following Islamic doctrines. As a Sufi, Balkhi was also a follower of the belief of using music and dance in the quest of obtaining a more spiritual connection with God. Today his influence of this belief is noted in Turkish dances known as whirling dervishes. 
Balkhi was not only a poet, but also an intellectual, a philosopher and a scholar. He was also a musician. Evidence shows us that he was also skilled in playing an ancient Afghan instrument called the Rubab. Balkhi is considered as an evolutionary thinker, bringing about a further understanding of the spiritual enlightenment of the soul um, after some death. Some other really cool facts about Balkhi. Once the center of Aryan and the great cross on civilization lying on the Silk Road, with more than 5,000 years of civilization, today Balkh is a major metropolis and regional industrial hub for Central and South Asian markets to reinvent Balkh's magnificent past as the center of prosperity. Balkh is a major commercial and business hub for nine provinces that inhabit nearly one-third of the Afghanistan population. Being strategically located in the north, Balkh provides access to investors to untapped markets across the north and ample opportunities for investments and growth in service and manufacturing industries. Balkh is home to nearly two million people from different ethnicities, one public and eight private universities educating some 50,000 students in different faculties. 650,000 students in primary and secondary education with 14,000 teachers. Half of both the students and teachers are female. Balkh is rich in human resources with tens of thousands of professionals in each field. Women in Balkh work shoulder by shoulder with men in all walks of the society. A recent survey shows 50% of men in Balkh agree that their female counterparts work outside their houses, which is a significant achievement in the Afghan male-dominated society. Independent media has a strong presence in Balkh. There are 16 TV and 18 radio stations, some exclusively for women based in the province. More than 30 newspapers get published here. A recent survey shows Balkh is the safest haven for male and female journalists in Afghanistan. The territory to which Balkh serves as the regional hub is home to significant share of Afghanistan's vast reserves of minerals. When all cities prepare to go to bed, Balkh doesn't. Nightlife in the city stays until in the morning, with families enjoying their time in peace and harmony. By the way, I'm in Grand Canyon right now. Uh, Grand Canyon is a national park in the United States. It is in the uh, state of Arizona. Um, well, as you can see, it's very, very, very uh, you know, historic. So it's a layers, huge layers, layers, and layers of, of history, literally. Each of these layers have cotton, but like, you know? So, really cool stuff. I'm trying to be like Bill Nye, the science guy. But anyway, so uh, we're gonna continue with your snaps. Thank you for um, sharing all these uh, amazing, beautiful snaps of Afghanistan, of Balkh specifically for this week. And one thing uh, we ask of you is uh, share this to as many young cats so this way they can get educated about Afghanistan because from my understanding, from my experience, there's a lot of Afghans um, that's outside of Afghanistan that have no idea. Um, but Afghanistan, this is not their fault, it's just that um, we don't put enough emphasis on educating ourselves about our past, why we are the way we are, and what makes us special. Our country goes back to like 7,000 years. Now think about how much Mazar Sharif is not a province. <laughs> it's, um, City. It's the capital of Bali. Thank you for always supporting us, supporting you in return. And uh, thank you.